tremendous looking trophy. Welcome to Platinum Explosion live from fucking Shepparton. <laughs> It's a great place. You had a great welcome. It's all fine. We're good. We're good. Now, Dylan, I dug a... There's a, there's my secret chambers in the garden. Mm-hmm. I dug a hole. Looks like a hole, but it's not. It's a secret entrance to Sharnia, which is Shepparton's version of Narnia. Mm. You need to go down there after we finish recording um, and just kind of sit there. You might feel like dirt splashing on the back of your neck, but it's fine. It's fine. Sounds like you're trying to bury him alive. I'm not. <laughs> I'm sending him to Sharnia. Sharnia does sound like hell to me, though. No, not at Well, if that's where you're going to go after you get to Sharnia, sure. I can't control that. Sharnia. Sharnia. <laughs> I do. It is nice to point out that uh, for the listeners at home at this point in time, I am actually alive still. Yeah, and we still. went through the whole of packs together. We did. I allowed this to happen. Yeah, if you want to hear um, today's episode of Platinum Explosion, by the way, number one <laughs> PlayStation podcast in <laughs> Oceanus, um, is going to be all about the Paris Games Conference Week PlayStation Conference that media we showcase, media and showcase. pre-show. All of that shenanigans, but it is worth pointing out that just before this, we uh, we are all here because we just spent time at packs together. And we're all chilling out at Shepparton. <laughs> Why do people laugh? Why are you we're, laughing? We're now chilling out at Kieran's. Me, Ash, are now chilling out at Kieran's in Shepparton until we head back to Melbourne uh, on Friday to get ready for Extra Life on Saturday, which is, of course, happening. Don't forget, there's been ads playing every fucking podcast for like the last forever, I swear. But if you want to hear all about packs, which we won't talk about in this episode because we did a live PAX episode from the show floor that is on Pleasure Explosion this week. So we talk about video games on that podcast. So you get lots of video games talk. And that's all indies and stuff. And we did it on the show floor and cool Audio Technica mics and stuff. And it was all very exciting. Wow. 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 All right. Let's kick it off. We'll talk about the Paris... Games Media, or what the fuck they called it. PlayStation was at Paris Games. PlayStation was at Paris PlayStation. Um, We stayed up until... What fucking time did this start? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. That was the pre-show. Two o' six. Two o' six. Two o' six. They were late. No, no, that's what they advertised. It was two o' six. That's a weird time to start. You didn't, you see, it was on my freaking 65-inch TV for like 10 minutes, saying... Starting at 8.06, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but I was ready to go to bed at like 12.30, so. Yeah, but. (laughs) (laughs) By the time the pre-show started, I'm like, I'm dead. (laughs) Um, So they kicked off the pre-show. They were making a big deal about this. They kept tweeting out, oh, we're going to announce, we got all these games coming. And I didn't actually, should do like a double check on the count because there were like six, seven new games, 20 game updates. 21 new games. 21, updates. all this all this sort of shenanigans happening. It was like, oh, are you guys really just, is that actually what happened? I think it's what actually happened. Yeah, sounds right. Sounds about sounds right. right. That's good. Um, so the pre-show, we actually, is worth covering because they didn't announce a lot of stuff there. So we're going to cover the pre-show plus the thing. So let's kick it off. The first thing they announced at the pre-show, Guacamelee 2. You play as an upgraded chicken. You don't get to play it on Vita. So now I don't yeah. care. Was I wrong? There was, was there any Vita games? Because uh, I said four. You said two. I, I said think, four. I think Actually there was told us that the Vita has died a horrible death and will not return. Zero. I think yeah. it's zero. Yeah. I think there was no Vita talk at all. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as it came up with the tile screen for Guacamelee 2, it was like, no Vita. Even then I was still like, oh, random in the... I don't think Spelunky even said like Vita. I think no. so. Later in the show. By the way, Splunky 2 was announced. I'm skipping ahead. <laughs> you mentioned it. We're going to go on it. Let's just do it. Let's just do this free form. Let's, uh, let's, let's strike away the schedule. What's the point of the notes let's then? Just, let's just free form this. No, let's I like just... structure. Yeah. Welcome yeah. LA 2. <laughs> yeah. Four player co op. That looks really fun. Co-op. That, that looks like it's going to be a mess, but <laughs> it's, it like, looks... it'll look good, but I suspect playing it will be. It looked like speedrunners, which looks, which is really yeah. fun. It looked like speedrunners, but you play as the old goat oracle guy. 
Yeah. As one of the characters. Did you finish the... Fir- You're the only person that finished the first one? No, I didn't finish it. Okay, I, got, like, I never pretty finished far. it either. I got, I got pretty far. I'm pretty sure back. I got up to the last boss section of the Metroid Mania section. I'm pretty sure I threw like, my feet I should double back at some point and did not. I was like, fuck this game and this boss and just chuck my feet across the room. Like the yeah. crack baby that we all know it is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's fine. The other cool thing... The only cool thing... The thing that interests me more, the car I was like, cool, whatever. I don't know fucking three people to sit on the couch and play that with um the dimensional wave whatever really the cool bosses and stuff like that different wave forms floating across the screen it's like enemies will be shadows in certain sections and then you can hit them in other sections but then it can be used for puzzles to make like platforms visible not visible all that sort of stuff look pretty hectic if it if you like try yeah. to ran across an area or something the puzzle the puzzle bit like the platforming bit i thought looked really awesome the boss fly bit where you could only hit them when they were in a certain wavelength, I thought could be really frustrating. Yep. yep. It just looked like, because <laughs> if the AI is just jumping perfectly, you'd just be like, well, this is, this is shit. Yep. This yep. is, yep. But the first game was frustrating, so. Frust- I don't know. Frustrating. 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 I see the thing I slipped into your water is working, actually. No, I got a, I got a bit of an itchy throat this morning. Itchy that Pax, throat? Pax, 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 Pax Pox. Pax Pox. Pax Pox. Better go buy some butter menthols. Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it like that? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's weird being in person. I actually saw like your tongue trying to escape your mouth when you said butter menthols. <laughs> <laughs> Live from Shepparton. <laughs> butter menthols. <laughs> Yeah, what can my low three look? All right, the the next game they showed was uh, I don't like the title of it, the Hong Kong Massacre, which is a <clears throat> to a top down twin stick shooter looking. Looks like a three D Hotline Miami. Sort yeah, of. yeah. It was really weird because we got we, when we were watching it, we were all really intrigued because we, like we were like, we were like, is this some kind of like Sleeping Dogs game? Is this? We were listing off potential games it could be. And then it had the most boring title of all times. Mm-hmm. Just like we were so, we were pumped. And then I think we all got a bit flat as soon as it was like, Hong Kong Massacre. I was like, okay. I you really, was you really don't want to put Massacre in the title of your video game? I yeah, think. no, it just seems yeah. very, it's not even cool sound. Like you can't get away with it because it's just like Hong Kong Massacre. It's like, all right. That's like a yeah. terrorist right. attack or something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like title. Game looked cool though. Like they yeah. had, um. Like the the reason we all saw it was Sleeping Dogs because they had like the cinematic bits shown in the trailer or whatever and it looked like a Yakuza or a Sleeping Dog or some, some And there was like, like that, that kind of like bullet timey kind of like leaps across tables yeah. and like diving through the air. But that could be cool yeah. in a twin stick shooter though because yeah. you're used yeah. to just like sliding around but twin stick shooter where you can like do max pain jumps over objects and slow-mo shoot people and stuff like that could be cool. Plus like after that one of the dudes was like oh it's like Hotline Miami crossed with Whatever he said, I can't remember. But was that like the MLB dude? Yeah, the MLB dude. I was he like, was like the worst part of that battle. Yeah, I was like, I don't know about this. Why are you here? I don't know. I Why? don't know who he is. I don't know who you are. Why are you here? Let let Rob and the other lady from PlayStation the... Access do their shit. Great. Now we're never gonna get copies of MLB the Show. God damn it! It's... I'd give zero fucks to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast two for the week. Dylan shit talk sport again. Have I already shit talk sport this Yeah, week? we were talking about sport for some reason. You were like, I do not give a fuck. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, pleasure. I'm, that's I'm right. pleasure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, talking about packs and stuff like that, the other thing they showed a trailer for was Gardens Between, uh, which we were trying to debate if we already knew it was coming to PS4 or the I people at PAX. <laughs> I think you can work it out because you, when you the, played it at I PAX. played it at PAX. You can watch our the- video on YouTube. Watch that. It's good. It's the best content on YouTube for PAX 2017. Maybe. Possibly. Um, with it, I, I was. you could probably could have watched that because you were playing on a PlayStation controller. It was a PC build, but there yep. were PlayStation controllers to play yep. with. So you could probably do the math. And, do the math. And it would probably check out. But I don't think it was actually announced yet. No. It was just like no. they were using the controllers, no. maybe, whatever. This is the uh, the Voxel Agents, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the, Vox, the Voxel Agents. Yeah. Voxel, Voxel Agents. That's the agents. one. Super nice guys. They're really nice. They tweeted us when we were like, "Well done for being on PlayStation last night." Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. good people. Yeah. Shout out. Means I can now play this Guns Between game on the PlayStation, not my fucking PC. Well, well, you don't even have a fucking PC. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Not really. Well, I play half the fucking game. <laughs> you've like, you've like, you've, you've, you've. It's sad. You, you play half your games on a PC and not a PlayStation Four. Oh shit! Or Vita. I play way too many shit. games on PC these days. It's People on Platinum Explosion <laughs> demand his death now. I <laughs> <laughs> will bring it swiftly. Well, got to do what you do. <laughs> <for> the- <laughs> your, your plan is to be- get him to bury, get buried alive. That's not going to be a swift death. That's the well. If they want a swift death, I can organize a swift death. I saw this great movie the other day. They gave me some ideas. What was it called? The Babysitter. Oh my god! Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I let us watch that together? <laughs> That's a fucking terrible idea. Yeah, so Guns Between's coming. You liked it, so... I did. It's great. It's exciting for... You should check it out. People. people, if you like puzzle <clears throat> adventure games. Yeah. Bit.ly slash Explosion Network for our YouTube video. Do it. I talk I talk coherently about it. <laughs> Unlike now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how much sleep we're all running uh, I'm really <laughs> glad that... I'm really glad that we took that time to sleep after the press conference so we could have a nice coherent conversation. <laughs> We took four hours sleep. It was you know, out of morning. It was something like that. I swear, like I slept a maximum of four hours every day for the last week. Yep. <laughs> and it's not ending. And then a twenty-four hour charity stream. <laughs> what? <laughs> this whole trip was a bad idea. I should have stayed in Tassie. <laughs> 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 okay, so they gave a next thing they talked about was Loco Roku 2 remasters coming December 9th. I'm the only one that's played those games, right? We gathered from the yep. thing. Yep. Yep. They were like old PSP games. Uh, they're really cool. They're just like simple controls, great music, look really great on your 4K TV, colors pop. A lot of fun. Chill. They're chill games. They're pretty chill. They're not hard puzzles. Another game that should, probably should have been announced for Vita at the same time, but yeah, you know. yeah. But, <laughs> I guess it. technically it would be on Vita already. Then you yeah, you can buy that PSP Classic, I suppose. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> doesn't uh, have, doesn't right. have trophies. <laughs> doesn't doesn't count. Uh, Sims Four, they showed a trailer for November seventeenth. I'm like, I don't know why. I, I was watching. super confused. I was like, why is this trailer? I don't. I didn't even hear it was coming. I had to double check that the Sims Four wasn't the new, like wasn't recently new. It's still the one that was released. Like, yeah, I didn't even know it was coming until the other day either. It was, yeah, I never heard about it. No. It got announced ages ago. When was I it a big remember. announcement? No, because it's Sims Four. It's been on PC forever. Yeah, it's been a, so, yeah, yeah, it's been years. When, <laughs> let me look this up. <laughs> let me quickly. I'm walking around the pack show floor. Shree's like, oh, I'm ex- oh, I'm really pumped for Sims coming out soon. I'm like. What? <laughs> what are you on about? So, Sims 4 was originally released 2014. So it's three years old. Yeah. Who fucking cares? Yeah, I don't know. Surely those games are terrible to play on fucking controller. Actually, the, I don't, this, is gonna, this is gonna get me a lot of street cred. Mm. The Sims Herbs on PlayStation 2 was really good. It was really fun. I played that, actually. You played Herbs? You know, actually, you know what the best Sims game was? There was one on GBA or something like that. Not the cartoony ones. I think so. It was like a weird hybrid RPG social sim type job yeah. simulator thing. And I had no idea. I fucking loved that game <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> my brother had it. He got it given to him for his birthday. I just kept stealing it and sticking it in my... Fucking, I'd be like, where, where'd that, where's that game going? in my fucking... I'm sticking in my console, you dirty <laughs> motherfucker. That's where we're at today, guys. <laughs> this, this, this is your episode of Platinum Explosion. It's going to be going Aren't up. Aren't you glad you're waiting for it? It's, it's at least going up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> um, that, talking about other games that I give zero fucks about, Tennis World Tour. That's a game. It's coming. Ash was like, this is big news. It's pretty I cool. I didn't say it was big news, but it, I mean, it's... Tell me why... As far as I can tell, it's the only tennis game on the next-gen consoles. So that's a, I guess people who love tennis games... Well, it, I guess Mario Tennis. Mario but Tennis. Is that on the Switch? No. No, so definitely this new... <laughs> <laughs> Technically, the Wii U's a next-gen console. Yeah. That Fisher-Price piece of crap. No, it's not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
So Sony have got tennis exclusive. It looks is like. it exclusive? It, there, yeah, the on the background there was like Sony PlayStation on like the advertising boards. Yeah, but that could have just been put in for the. It could have just been put Which in for the trailer. Which was the one you said they had, you had to go on PlayStation to play now? Tennis plus what? And baseball. Oh, baseball because MLB. Yeah, is that the thing they have the. Yeah. Cool. So two sports. Two sports that barely anybody in Australia cares about. Yep. Except when the Australian Open is on. Yep. And yep. then suddenly... <laughs> and then nobody's interested. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and it's a terrible name. Tennis. Yeah, that's pretty... World Tour. Atrocious. Generic. It's not exclusive. What? Is that? Yeah, I just looked it up. It's not exclusive. It's also coming to PS Vita. Is that what you're saying, right? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, this article says it's coming to consoles, including PS4. In 2018. Okay. So, yeah, it's not exclusive. Forget anything. Stop reading into shit. Ash is just walking Ash off. Literally just walked out. <laughs> I have the couch to myself. And he's back. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. <laughs> they could have got a name like Roger Federer or Rafa Nadal or something. That's, like, the, they could have probably got a Roger name. Federer's Tennis World Tour. Yeah. Yeah, it does so, sound better. It's, yeah. it's, so, it's, so, it's like, you know, Ricky Ponting's World Cricket, you know? It's like Tiger Woods. PGA. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, except, except, wow. Anymore. Except people like the tennis players and they you, No, but you get Roger Federer because who doesn't like Roger Federer? Yeah, exactly. He's charming. Dylan doesn't like sport, but I bet he would like Roger Federer. You'd have a beer with the bloke. Would I? Yeah, yeah. he would. He's Why? a class act. He's, he's a he's really a, great guy. Super oh. nice guy. He's super nice. How do you he's know? He's so yeah. charming. Because everything he does is super charming. All right, Kevin Spacey is pretty charming too. Stop! Leave him! <sighs> Until recently. Next game! Next game! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so then they, <laughs> they dived into some VR stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they dived into some VR stuff finally, which is exciting for me because I'm always happy to hear about some more mm. VR stuff. The first thing they showed was Megalith, which was like, uh, I don't know, you see some weird monster like in a hole and then it comes out and shows it's yeah. a first person shooter. And I thought this was going to be some. How did it show it was a first person shooter? They to didn't. Me, they no, well, they showed after. it was a first person. And then after yeah, they that, they holding his hand. Shooter. Yeah. But that's the thing. I wish that trailer went for maybe 20 more seconds. Show like, him pick up a gun so or something. Like actual. Yeah. Gameplay, like show, like something, because literally it looked like it was in-game footage when he like you looked at your hands, like he looked at his like monstery hands. But I wanted to see him, like even if it was like a super like flashy montage of just somebody. Yeah, also, well, Santa clearly they haven't come up with all the other monsters. <laughs> <laughs> also, the trailer didn't like um, give the type of game that it is no. at all. It was like okay, some cool like single player god. I thought it was going to be because I didn't... Yeah, there was no way to know it was a shooter until the panel said it. Or the fact that it's a hero Hero multiplayer game. Yeah, That's pretty cool though. Is they're trying to make Overwatch for PSVR? I was going to say, is it just like PSV? Oh God. Yeah. Oh God. That's out next year. They said, yeah, 2018 hero shooter. Play as a titan trying to become a god. PSVR. I don't know. Could be cool. Could also be really cool. Fucking terrible. Yeah, possibly. Those are two options. Yeah. Also, I just think anything that's like multiplayer focused PSVR is kind of like putting too many eggs trouble. in one yeah. basket for success. Yeah, you're kind of shrinking your audience. It's mm-hmm. like it's like you already have a limited play a PSVR audience, and then you kind of like smushing that down more. Like I wouldn't. I'd hate to think like what what matchmaking would be like in that game or Q times or. Mm-hmm. Anything like that? Like, no. Did anyone? Did anyone play? Did you play Reeks online ever? I got it for free or whatever, and I still couldn't be bothered trying it. <laughs> I feel like that's the thing. I feel like that's the model that all of the multiplayer games for VR are going to go. It's going to end up being free. Yeah. Mm. To get people on it, I but think that's the if, better choice. Yeah, I don't know. This could be free to play, and then you know, micro. I think that'll be interesting. Free to play VR games would be um, an interesting thing to do. Well, it helps it's if there's like 20 free-to-play games and people are like, I can buy a PSVR unit with one game and have 21. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a... the tw- math. That was good. Yeah. One plus 20. <laughs> on, two. <laughs> on. You, you, we saw the calculator come out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the next one they showed was Bow to Blood, which was the treasure planet looking... Co-op Sky Captains ship. of Tomorrow. Yes, yeah, Sky Captains <laughs> of Tomorrow. Co-op ship combat P 
PSP. I don't know. Game. Really, I don't know. It, it to me, it looked like the camera angle for playing it looked kind of annoying. Yeah, that's um, that's the thing with um PSVR footage when it's not actually in VR. It always seems like like the, the views off, but where like when you're actually seeing it in the headset, it's like you you have that extra like ninety yeah. degrees to each side or whatever, and it it looks fine. Mm. That's yeah. That's one of the also one that's it's still one of the problems of showing PSVR. That that uh, Minotaur game. I just said it. I already forgot the fucking Megalith. Name. Megalith. Megalith. Yeah. Um, I'm like the footage I showed with him looking at his hands at the end. That wasn't gameplay footage. It didn't. That was could, not right. I don't. Well, it could me. just be. It could be in it. It could in be like game, a like. That's not in whatever. It's not it in engine idle engine animation. It could I be. I don't, I don't know. It didn't look right. But you can tell the Treasure Planet game. Bout of Blood is you could tell because of the camera angles and the way it all looked it was like that was proper also not a great name no it's not a great I name I did not see any blood in that game no also with Sea of Thieves and whatever else I'm just like okay come at me Sea of Thieves yeah yeah you're even excited for it well I'm just mean like it's a it's, new it's a weird what's with all these people in the cult shit games you got the assassin's creed ship thing as well the, whatever that the, was called. The, that's not assassin's creed but it's just oh i remember that and, and it was really weird ships and guns like or something. ship thing whatever it's like oh my god all these ship combat i mean this one's in space or well, not in space but in the air <laughs> <laughs> maybe they go space i don't know <laughs> do a barrel roll i don't know that doesn't look that interesting to me. uh then we got the ultra yeah we got the the next flying game the, the the sim one or what's yeah. it? It looks simmy, wings. but then at the same time it looked like arcade ultra wings. Ultra, ultra wings, ultra wings. Yeah. Ultra wings. Yeah. I wish it was less arcadey. Yeah. I thought it was really cool. well when it's it looked first, both though. Like, but it was like oh, I wanted it almost to be more simmy than anything. When it because yeah. when it first started, it was super simmy, and then yeah. it was like, let's go blow up some balloons. Yeah, yeah. and you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It can't all be one thing. Well, it can all be it, one It can thing. all be There's one thing. sections. Like, at the start, it looked real simmy. And by the end, it looked simmy. Like, the plane's, like, landing down. And you hear this voice, like, come in at this angle, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Just, like, landing. And then there was other parts where it's, like, you're, ha- you're hanging out the side of the plane with a pistol, shooting yeah. planes in there. Yeah, it was, like, like, a biplane. You're, like, eh, Maybe they're different modes. Yeah. Well, yeah, different styles of planes. But I'm stuff. mostly intrigued by the... Um, Motion the sim, the well, no. I do. I'll, I'd be interested <laughs> to do the simmy stuff, which I'd never play in a normal game. But in VR, like a, a, yeah. a sim plane thing, would be actually kind of cool to check out. Um, I don't care about like shooting fucking balloons out of the sky, really. No, that's uh, no. you know, yeah, not great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you got uh, mo- uh, they showed Sprint Vector, which was the view the puke game. Where you uh, you're jogging really no, fast. No, you're rollerblading. You're rollerblading, rollerblading man. really fast. Apparently, uh, the rollerblading, thing is, it looks climbing. like it's um, <laughs> it doesn't look like it's like the, I can't remember the word they used for the type of movement they were trying to say. Ultra fluid movement. Ultra or fluid movement or some shit. Yeah. But at the same time, it was supposed to be they were wording it in a way that was supposed to say, "Hey, you're not going to get motion sickness. You're not going to get sick. Yeah, gonna people are going to get sick. They, they it like, looks super cool though. Like yeah, even does. just like jumping. Like it was like Mirror's Edge VR. Almost on yeah. rollerblades. I mean, if it works, it's going to be pretty awesome. If it works, yeah, I feel like, like if it doesn't make you flash. sick, yeah, and yeah. if I feel like <laughs> if I feel sick within the first like ten minutes of playing, I'm just going to be like, oh god. But I, mean, I think they said there, yeah, but they've all they've been working on for like last year is trying to get it so it doesn't make you sick. So. Do you think for games like that, as an idea for um? Even though it's it's probably a it's a negative thing for their marketing, or it might stop them from getting a couple of sales. But do you think for those games, it'd be good for them to release like a small demo so people could test out probably. if they yeah. do get motion sickness from well, it? I brought the motion sickness thing is so hard to judge for. It's really hard. Like it's just like yeah. I don't know how it works in VR because the game that made me the most sick that I can't play and can't finish was Robinson: The Journey. Okay. Which is all you're doing is walking around. It's just, you're not going fast. You're not doing stuff. I've played games where, like, first person VR games where you're moving faster, like the horror ones, paranormal activity, running around, like, sprinting through a house and everything. 180 turns, fine. Slowly walking in this Robinson game, I could, I just felt sick. I'm like, I can't actually even. And it's supposed to be an easy platinum as well. So I was like, oh, fuck, this is so annoying. (laughs) 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 That's what matters. The only reason they'll make me continue playing it in Chuck would be to get the, the easy platinum. <laughs> but I just don't understand how I can like run through it. It's just weird how you can run through, like I can run through a house faster 
and not get sick. It's just, it is something weird to do with yep. the slight bounciness of it or the way it's something to do with the brain and everybody's brain's sort of different stuff. yeah it's just really, it certainly is it's really odd VR's odd it's interesting um the next one they showed was Moss they announced that's coming February 2018 which is really exciting it's probably, that'd be like my top three most anticipated VR games at the moment only because it's like I've had heaps of the first person ones and yeah. whatever else and stuff like this and this is just a third person puzzler that looks really cool and it's got a cute little mouse character and it's it's like something different um and it's like taking vr games in a direction that i want more of like because everyone automatically is like first person first person first person because yeah. you the he- put the head- head- headset on and that's what everyone jumps to but it's like um they showed the the example of this that i got where i wanted more of it was in the the playroom demo thing where they had a third person thing like this similarly similarly sim- similarly in separate um, and you, <laughs> you, it was the same, you, you, you can move the character with the remote, um, but like to solve puzzles, you had to like, you, you could like look under platforms and like stuff like that. You had to be more aware of your surroundings. Like you're so used to just playing games like this where you don't move, but then you're like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And you're like, oh, you turn your head or whatever. And you're like, oh, around this corner, I can see something. And it just, it's more about just opening up the angles of the world you can see to make puzzles fun and stuff like that. But the game looks really cool. That's early next year, so that's exciting. The one, I don't know, they showed this Star Child one, which they announced at E3 as well. I don't know what it is. I still don't understand. Because it was just a does. cinematic. It was just like this character, this, 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 this woman's got like stuff exploding out of her and it was like old beams and stuff. I have no, I have no idea. So <laughs> then they announced uh, Resident Evil 7 DLC. Not a hero. Free content. Free content. And it looks like it's meaty. It looks like it's yeah. actual, like, they've put a lot of work into it. So, that's really cool. That's really exciting. That Chris was, Redfield. Yeah, Chris Redfield. Come on, give me give me Leon Kennedy, please. Please just give me Leon. i will go back and play more if it was Leon. Did you play Resident Evil 7? Okay, yeah. I still need to go play it, I guess. <laughs> it's one of those games. I haven't finished it, but I really enjoyed my time with it, and it was something I wanted to go back to. Uh, I wanted to, If I was a man, I'd play it in VR, because... That's the thing. I, I um, When it came out, um, I had like, my VR packed up, because I was like still moving houses and stuff. It's just like, this is a bad time. I was like, I could get it and play it normally, but I'm like, I want to play it in VR, and I didn't have the VR set up and stuff like that. I could do it now. I just got to buy it. Because they have the really cool, um, with their VR, you can actually change like the, how you want to play it. How you want to play it, like the instead of just full free movement, there's like a 30 teleport, degree. Yeah. Oh, world. not just teleport, but I think like. There's three different modes. There's different, but like even like, sorry, like the vision, like how you see oh, yeah. things, instead of you can either have it freely so you move, or to stop motion sickness, you can make it so it's like different sections. I don't know how to explain it. Mm. It was cool. I tried to do Expo like a couple, like two years ago now. No, last year. Oh, yeah. Last year, yeah. Yeah, it's a good game. Fair enough. Uh, this is exciting for Resident Evil. Uh, so then they showed, uh, they showed two trailers for horror games that are out today Dead Hungry, Arcade One, and then Stifled, which is the one I actually want to check out when I get home, hopefully. Just because I find the the audio factor of that horror game interesting because it's just like old black and white you can't see anything you either pick up objects in the game and throw them which makes sound waves which r- reveals like slightly around you or you can like speak into the microphone in the, the VR headset and it'll slightly reveal stuff around you with your own audio waves and you can't see what's around you you can't see the monsters unless you do stuff like that just sounds really fucking creepy mm. scare the bejeebies out of me hopefully maybe you deserve it. Oh, thanks. That's great. That's great. Um, League of War, they showed thing, which is the... That's coming out November 7th. Tabletop tank sim game. I, it's like a... Yeah, it's basically like a tabletop Looks game like a tower in VR. defense game. Hey? Looks like a tower defense game. Yeah, a tower defense game of some sort. But you can... It's, the only cool part about it that I thought was cool is they... Um, so, like, someone can play in PSVR and then the person on the couch next to you can be playing on the... The TV yep. screen. It which looked I think like they, they were really, they were, they were having a very good time. They were having, those actors in the trailer were 
terrible. I think I, I, think I, I think I dozed off. Yeah, you show. did doze off at this yeah. point. Yeah, I think, I dozed, I think there was this point in the pre-show I was like, uh, yeah, you dozed off for a little bit here. Yeah, I definitely did. I woke up and was like, I don't know how much I've missed. Yeah. Oh, well, um, I think this game, what I did see of this game, it just made me think that actually I'd be inclined to buy VR if they did that kind of setup, but say with like Warhammer products yeah. or because I would love to get into tabletop Warhammer, but I don't want all the figures and to paint crap. Yeah, exactly. And that kind of That's stuff in my thing. house. Like if I could do that without, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. I like it just because I'm like, I was, I think I've said before, I want more games like this, the take advantage of the combination between the VR headset and being like, someone being able to play on the, the screen with you for stuff like that. Cause it's just, I think it's cool. Uh, they showed this stupid fishing game. We don't really talk about it. Most of the deep Final Fantasy 15. Oh, God. <laughs> Out November 21st. Of a new recipe. I was, I was amazed because I didn't know this until you guys told me yesterday that it was a separate game. <laughs> that it's a completely separate thing. I thought this was something you got with Final Fantasy 15. What, a free update? Yeah. No, because you think this is a free update? They've been like talking about this for ages. Because wasn't and, like, that supposed trailers. to be like a free VR thing with Final Fantasy 15? Yeah, like the pervy simulator thing or whatever that hasn't come out yeah so that's, that's what I thought <laughs> like, this was that. everyone wants the fishing the fishing was everyone's favourite part yep I only fished to feed the cat man oh. I had to feed that little cat I only fished to get the fucking trophy for the platinum and it was terrible I wouldn't want to fish but I was like hey there's a little cat you want some fish yeah, get it for no, 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 that no, little no, cat was cool he knew what I was up uh, they showed in Vector which is the Avicii uh, rhythm game which I, I'm actually really excited for that to come out because Rhythm games are cool. Uh, rhythm games in VR, because um, I played Fumper in VR, and it's like this amazing experience. And um, Res Infinite in VR, also like really cool. VR, I just think VR for rhythm games and stuff like that is just going to be, you, I suppose in your mind, unless you try it, like how much better could it be? Like you're just staring at like a track or whatever, like going down the screen, but it's just like more immersive. Plus the, you get the headphones on and you get the like 3D audio and stuff like that. And so just being the audio just coming out of your TV or whatever, stuff like that. It, or even if you have normal headphones on, it's just cause the notes fly behind you and stuff like that. It's really cool. Plus all the uh, sparkly stuff. Yeah. You jumped over one game. What did I miss? Uh, you missed Final Fantasy 15 episode Ignis. It's coming out December 13th. Oh, yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, apparently the composer's Yezunuri Masuda? Yeah, the one who. Chrono did. Trigger? Yeah. So. So we, th- that wasn't a VR game, though, was it? No, that was no, like the Ignis thing it. takes place during chapter 9. I'm like up to like chapter 5 in Final Fantasy 15. Okay, so well, it's. That's spoiler. At, at one point, Ignis gets separated from the main group. And you're going to play as Ignis and see what see he what was doing. doing. It's the same as the Gladios one. Like at one point in the game, Gladios is like, I'm just going to go off and do something. And he never tells you what. And then you go like a chapter or two without him. And he comes back. He's like, hi. And then they're like, DLC. You get to see what he was doing. And that's just the same. I mean, I don't really uh, care. Okay. I think so. You think Ignis is like discovering a new recipe. I think that's the whole, the whole thing. The whole aim. The you whole aim. Discover is all the recipes. Recipes. <laughs> Shut up, Ignis. We just killed this freaking creepy monster. <sighs> I mean, I like Final Fantasy, but I, I haven't touched any of the, the DLC and I don't. I just, 15. Yeah, I, do. 15 <laughs> I don't know. 15 didn't, uh, it started. Fine. It was okay. It was but fine. I didn't. I haven't fun. loved a Final Fantasy game and since like maybe twelve or mm-hmm. Final Fantasy ten. Mm-hmm. I did that several hour stupid boss battle thing, whatever the fuck that was. And then somebody the found giant out, turtle thing. Yeah, and then somebody found out an easier way to do it. It doesn't yeah. take that long anymore. It was just tedious. It wasn't hard. Yeah, it was just really. You're like, I listened to like I finished several podcasts and you're just like watching this thing's health bar just go down. It's like wow, I'm basically playing like a. World of Warcraft like fucking raid boss here it's just slamming like it's not hard it's just like clicking buttons oh yeah um okay well we covered the one I missed sorry Final Fantasy 15 my bad uh we got o- O-Ray 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 which is out today which looked like Journey a Journey game or something Journey with yeah. Dragons it's Journey with Dragons it was reminding me of Journey or like um Howl's Moving Castle yeah that too oh. <laughs> Because yeah. it's like this little ki- ki- kid character or whatever, but then it's turning into a dragon that looked like the dragon from Howl's Moving Castle to me. And it's just like floating around. I don't know, it just looks like a pretty chill puzzle 
puzzle game. Puzzle, I don't know. It Emotional like, journey, I'm sure. Like or something. Air Puzzle Shadow of Colossus. Yeah. And it looked interesting and it's out, which is cool. Yeah. From, the, from the few frames I saw when I was like, Awake. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you wake up the next game, so it's fine. Yeah, no, but the journey was good. Like, I like as I remember thinking, hey, this game looks like Journey, and then... It wasn't. There was a blank point in my life where I can't remember what happened. Yeah, and then they said, out today, and it's not Journey, it's some other thing, but cool, you can play it if, if, you, if you want to play it. Um, so the big thing, this is where you finally wake up, Karen. Is it? Yeah, because I, I stood up and went for a bathroom break, and then I heard you yelling at me, so I'm like, oh, oh he's okay. away. Splunky Tay! Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Splunky Tay! <laughs> hey, Nilla, look, it's Splunky! This time you play as a girl. Huh? You play as the kid. You play, you play as, as like the, the original daughter. character's daughter. Do you care about Spunk? Do you play Spunky? Or? No, I think no. it's cool though. Uh, I yeah. like I like the um I think I like the the instead of it's not just the game but more the Twitch community around that kind of game is still really popular um and really interesting. So yeah, it's good yeah. to see it come. It's out. like one of those things where I'm like, oh, that's a big deal. Like that's cool, and like I know that game's big, but I'm like, I'm. I haven't played Spelunky. It's not for me. So, yeah. and then, I mean, I, I might like Spelunky. I played, I played a lot of um, the original Steam World Dig. It's not, I think you'd enjoy it. I think it's more... I wouldn't sit and play it on a console. Like, it, it would be... A Vita game. Yeah, it'd be like Switch a Vita game. or a Switch game if I was... Yeah. yeah. Well, guess well it's coming too. to PS4, so deal with it. Remote, Remote play. play. <laughs> <laughs> we know what's up. Ash is just like... Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Where's your Vita again? <laughs> I didn't bring it with me. It's a minute. I will admit. Sorry, PlayStation fan mates. It's I, not I remember. Game. And you brought your Switch, though. I didn't bring my Switch. But you didn't bring Mario Odyssey. No, because it was out the day after I left. Fuck. <laughs> Why didn't you? Because I, I had my pre-order, and I went, I'm like, I'm going to move my pre-order. I want that hat. <laughs> you want that hat? I want that hat. Yeah. Tom looks so good in that hat. I'm going to look better he, than Tom in He's that a hat. caveman. I'm going to look... Yeah. <laughs> the most <laughs> angry face of the fucking Odyssey hat I've ever seen. Um, then we... Alright, so we get into... Now we're into the actual conference territory. Woo! Finally. And they announced... <laughs> this was a fu- <laughs> funny moment for us sitting here watching this. So they start sh- showing this trailer for a game. Samurais. Stuff. Weird stuff happening. I'm like, we're all like, this is really interesting. I'm like, oh, it's... Shem or something yeah. I don't know and he's like at first I was like it looked kind of basic I was like oh this might be like a eh, okay and then you know, it starts getting the story gets really intense and I'm like oh like the character animation is really good and like it looks like all this like this is obviously like a high budget game you can start mm. telling like that and I'm like oh this looks this looks fucking awesome like a samurai this is actually looking really good and then yeah. it pops up the end sucker punch and we all turn and, each, turn and look at each other <laughs> yeah. and we're like oh <laughs> it was pretty funny yeah. um, just kind of randomly out of the blue I thought it, was, it wouldn't have, they were taking so long to announce what they'll do next I honestly don't think I would have if, if we did a prediction thing I would have been like no nah, no nah. like, nah, I wouldn't have guessed it this or is, like this is so far so far out of what I think is sucker punch now but I really no, like it great, I really though. like it's awesome Especially with, because I think, I feel like I felt the same way between Sly and um, Infamous. Infamous. It was still, it's like the same change. Like, it's really interesting that some devs try and stick to kind of the same things they do. Well, it's an open world game. Yeah, Yeah, it's still an open world game, but the art style is very different. It makes me hard. And that looks great. Looks awesome. Yeah, it's ninja. Except that it was like, it's samurai. It started off a samurai, but then. Oh, by the way, it's called uh, Ghost of well, Shina Tsushimi. 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 Thank you. Shinoshi. We apologise to all our Japanese. We did spend listeners five, we and spent, sucker punch. We spent five minutes before recording, making sure to double check how to pronounce Tsushimi. <laughs> and then we went for how long have we been going? <laughs> uh, Forty minutes or so. Yeah. So we forgot. And we forgot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Even with like. Um, the thing that interested me the most was the character model um, at the end because that his kind of like outfit was not 
normal samurai wear so i don't know if there's some kind of supernatural yeah or like supernatural like element, element or, or yeah like that. yeah well, they did mention fantasy in there the, the, the d- thing, developer yeah. diary thing yeah so i wouldn't be surprised if there is a combination of that to some to some degree yeah like samurai's got steampunk how cool would that be samurai's got a steampunk That'd be awesome do it but the, straight away I was thinking like they can have a good combination of everything that Sucker Bunch has done in the last two games because you can have a, you can combine like the sneaking elements they did in Sly because in the, the last couple of Sly games they did a lot of um, you'd sneak around and you'd have to like pick locks from people's pockets and all this sort of stuff and it's like that's a whole bunch of stealthy stuff and of course they never had stealthy stuff in any of the infamous games but they can bring that back and they can combine it with more of like the parkour, climbing, uh, rooftop jumping uh, stuff of the infamous games and stuff like that. And it made me, the thing that was the most, it made, had made me have this really weird nostalgia trip when we first started watching. For some reason I was thinking of Tenchu. Do yeah. you guys play Tenchu on PlayStation I did, 1? Yeah. Um, again, it was awesome. And I was like, make Tenchu again. Yeah. And Soul Reaver. Would have been really Why weren't you there, man? <laughs> oh, God. Why weren't you there? Oh, didn't, we didn't even mention that they showed that while you were asleep. Yeah, I, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> One of us probably would have been like, Hey, Karen! Wake up! Uh, he needs to sleep. Your dreams are coming true! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the next time the show was also really cool. Uh, Con- Concrete Genie, which is the... It's like a painting murals game. Yeah. It's Where like the a, bullies just push you over and then walk well, away. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, a, they just push about, you... Like this. real bullies. They just push you once and <laughs> push then... Push you once and then stop and walk away. It's uh, It's got a cool art style and you play as this kid who's basically bullied and I think is like using the painting as a form of escaping the bullying or something like that and you, like the monsters are, that's why I say like I was watching it like this reminds me of like where the wild things are but yeah. you're putting the things on the wall it was a game that I kind of I understood like the premises of like you painted stuff to help you in the environment but at the same time I had no idea what the game style of this game would be or like what I presume it's a like a, pl- like a puzzler or something like well, that I presume it's just going to be an adventure puzzle or something yeah. like that like it's just you're like few puzzles to solve stuff like that but it's more of an adventure game probably just it's more about the emotional journey yeah yeah no that's cool that's That's happy for me but i was just a bit that's what i presume but that looked really cool that looks really interesting um actually looking at the now that i'm looking at like all the games announced in a row it's like i need the the it felt like there was a slump in the conference but it's like the slump was towards the end of the pre-show but i'm like i don't know the actual conference was pretty good um uh, we'll get to it okay uh, they announced uh, the Playlink game uh, Erica which yeah was like a full motion video uh, whatever like adventure game old school decision making stuff like that which don't need because I'm like oh this looks really cool this looks really interesting like the the production quality of it looked look really good like it didn't look cheaply shot like the because the problem with these games is when you shoot them and use actors and stuff like that it's like the actors have to be good do you want it to look like a cheaply made tv show or a, like a movie level quality and this looked like good quality and the story they didn't give away much and the uh but it was like enough to get me intrigued some woman like, characters getting contacted by a killer and all sorts of weird stuff and the only thing is, the only thing that worries me is, I'm like, do I have to play this with other people? Because I just want to play it by myself. Can I just play it on PlayLink by myself? Yeah, because you can play that's you by yourself. Okay. But even my problem is, is that as you know, my role on this network and stuff being Twitch orientated, I just want them to fix online support for the, for these games. We haven't played any other than that you though. What have you got against local multiplayer games, Kieran? No, it's not local. It's no, not, it no, is. It's not local multiplayer. It's a game that advertises that, you know, advertises this kind of, you know, what, this in the same vein that Jackbox Games created, almost. And then it seems to, it's like, they're so hard to set up. It's so frustrating. That's you was hard to set up. We, That's you. We I, still haven't tried. I haven't tried anything well, else. Well, we haven't because they didn't put them out. We fucking want to play that damn... Uh, Hidden um, Agenda. Hidden Agenda. And they, they're like, we'll put it out in time for Halloween in America, but 
You Australian we're guys. Release date for that in Europe. You, uh, it's Europe. 20 you guys first? don't actually celebrate November twenty first for us. Yeah, yeah November twenty first. It doesn't make any sense. But I'm still excited for that. I'm excited. Yeah. I just don't want yeah. Because if that works online better than that's you. Should, I suspect if, you'll have to buy everybody will have to have everybody will have to buy a copy of it Probably. everybody will have to have it running on their own console yeah when I say it out loud I'm kind of like okay I understand the business model but the same <laughs> <time>. <laughs> at the same time I'm like eh. I think for games like when you compare it to when you compare it to what you're comparing to which is a like quick quiplash or whatever which is just a bunch of text on screen someone yeah. goes to a website fills in like a text box, clicks enter, compared to wanting to give access to free to a full, what, someone can just like, you share a code, they can just look at the image on the screen. Like it's my image, like it's got all the st- yeah, characters. Yeah, I screen, understand. Like, I understand that now. And even looking at it, it's kind of, yeah. I don't think yeah, they're well, really the same. I just still think they're annoying. I think so. you could do PlayLink games like Quiplash and give people access to free like to be able to play yeah. for free but I don't think with games like Hidden Agenda and stuff being yeah, asked to pay the 20 point. bucks fair enough yeah. fair enough yeah. Yeah. yeah I think that makes sense to me um, Blood and Truth was announced this is P- uh, this is a PSVR game that is base- it's uh, basically la- the next thing they just they just extend in London the heist from PS uh, the PSVR worlds whatever it's, it's called it's the exact same character and stuff no it's not no, the exact same character the same. but it's it looks and sounds it's, the same. Yeah, it looks and sounds the same. And pretty oh, much because all British people sound the same. No, right, it's just like that. the mechanics and everything, <laughs> like all, even the guns and stuff like that. And it's set in London. I'm pretty sure they've... Um, what the fuck is the dev? It's um, it's London. London, 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 Studio. London Studio. London Studio is whatever they're called. Yeah, which did the whole of the... They did all the, the VR worlds thing, like not just the London Heist part, but that was like the one that everyone loved about the... that disc I suppose like that was the most thing everyone was like that game was really cool stuff like that so it sounds like they j- were just like we had fun making that let's just take like the general idea and feel of that game yeah and um, make it into a proper um, experience or so so I don't think it has anything to do with the London Heist unless they tie back in for shits and giggles but I think it's just like the we'll just continue making something like that. which is cool because London Heist was a really cool the, the, the best part about it was the um no, it wasn't like the shoot or anything. It was just the the actors and the the models and stuff like that was really good. And the, the like the the the, the thick British accent dudes like just feeling like Jason Statham's like every character. <laughs> I hope there's because I think my favorite part of I've played small parts of the heist. My favorite part that it wasn't just like a, a gallery shooter. There was other parts of it as well. Yeah, and That's- in the trailer they showed like. Jumping out windows, shooting sections, but they also showed a section where what well, like you're just up in some dude's face, like talking to him and stuff like that. So it looks like it does yeah. just like have the same combination of different elements that the London Heist thing had, which is cool. Uh, they showed a Far Cry Five trailer. I don't think we need, do we need, no. I Go check out bit delay slash the network. We got there's a video, a video on it. We played it at PAX. Played it at PAX. Yeah. Go check that out. It's not yeah. There's not that much. Not much stuff to say about that. that. Mm-hmm. Um, Destiny Two DLC announced. Uh, Kieran, I don't know what the fuck. Any I'm pretty hard. That was pretty about. cool. Curse um, of Osiris, December fifth. Yeah, it's a new guardian. I think the new character is really interesting for it. Um, see so what Gondon comes out. I think they had that announced, which is yeah, December. I think it said December fifth. December fifth. You just said that. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then they said spring for the next update, next the next yeah. DLC as well, which is yeah, good, yeah. good support. Yeah, keep doing new. The quick. I yeah. mean, you got to get them out fast, I suppose. How, when did it come out? September, right? September. So, it's only just come out on PC. Yeah, that's true. Like a week ago. Yeah. So, so two months-ish. Two months is for current content. Um, December would probably be just about the time where yeah, people it's early are getting December, a little over it. Late, so, so late September. So. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I think that's quicker turnaround on yeah. expansions and stuff than the original had, right? That Definitely. was like five, yeah. six months. Before. Definitely. I think that after Taken King, they learned how to do DLC, yeah, DLC and better. how to keep it going. So, yeah. 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 Um, they showed Monster Hunter, which I don't think any of us really care about. Nah. Which well, we learned from the Tokyo Game Show thing. Like, don't think people love those games, but we, <laughs> we're just really not the people the, to be talking no. about them. The Aloy stuff was cool, though. Aloy stuff Aloy was cool, yeah, but little... that was the thing. It was like, yeah. it was an Aloy skin, you can play in the game as Aloy. <laughs> it doesn't make me want to play it. No, anymore. it was still, it was, yeah, it's only cool. Yeah, it's fine. I, I know people care. December 9th, 
beta. People care. I know lots and lots of people care. We just uh, miss an audience on that thing. Uh, Call of Duty World War II trailer was shown just uh, January 30th. Resistance DLC is coming out for it. First on PlayStation. Yeah. 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 I was saying as I was watching it, like I actually kind of want to play this COD. So um, I was like watching it. I'm like, it looks cool. It actually looks cool. The game looks cool. Yeah. The setting and everything like that. So, And of course, COD game, PlayStation getting DLC first. Ooh. Always, always good for PlayStation, I suppose. Although I don't like, even when I'm on the winning side, by winning I mean being the PlayStation uh, fan, the I'm still like I don't I don't like exclusive DLC uh, either when I've I'm on it. <laughs> like yeah. I'm just like no, whatever. I mean I understand it's good for the PlayStation business, business side well, or whatever, but yeah. as a gamer I'm like it's annoying for the <laughs> other people. Yeah. So. Um they showed On Crush, which is from uh, Codemasters. On Rush. On what did I say? On Crush. On Crush. Sorry. On Rush? On Rush is what okay. I'm reading it. Okay. Well, we're going to call it On Crush Rush. And um, it's a... It looked like an arcade fun, really colourful cars, bikes, I don't know. It reminded me of Motorstorm. All sorts of things. Like, yeah, it reminded me of Motorstorm too, but... Yeah, it was like really wait, weird because Codemasters... The original Motorstorm or Motorstorm 2? Apocalypse. Apocalypse? Yeah. Mm. Yeah? Cool. <laughs> Because <laughs> um, of the colours and everything, it was just like a yeah. very, mm. everything was really colourful and stuff like that. We thought it looked like a um, Hot Wheels game. Hot Wheels game because like all the the way they were showing the trailer, like, everything, the car models, everything just seemed small. Yeah, but mm. then it was like it's proper. It's just interesting for Codemasters because they do um, like sim races and like stuff. Dirt, dirt, and, yeah, dirt's a sim racer, and yeah. uh, they used to do like Colin McRae's and whatever else and yeah. stuff like that back in the day. So that's uh, interesting, but I'll check it out. I like, yeah. um, mm. I love the more fun uh, arcade shoes and stuff like that. Really colorful, looks fun. Uh, they showed Battlefront Two trailer. Didn't announce anything new. It's just like, remember that's a thing that's coming out soon. Star Wars: Old Run Explosion every Friday from now until Last Jedi. Um, they showed a Spider Man trailer, and I will say, yes. As someone who after the ga- the gameplay thing they showed at E three. Didn't get me pumped. I was like, it's fine. It's cool. Not that excited. The, the trailer, all that sort of thing. This trailer had me actually excited for it. This was a really good trailer. I was excited because of the park, the Peter and the, the Peter M- stuff. That's what's getting Peter me too. Peter and MJ stuff. Yes. I was like, we haven't seen that fully. And I'm like, yeah, cause yep, I, I'm in. Yeah, That's, all the other cool. trailers yeah. are just like, Spider-Man. Spider-Man swinging around, shooting things. It's like, yeah. look, you get to swing around the, the city and be cool. I'm like, yeah, but that's what I'd expect at this stage. Like, yeah. swinging around the city, it looks cool, stuff like that. <clears throat> I'd expect that. But now they're like, here's a story, Peter. Am I going to be walking around like school and stuff like that in the game? It looks like. I don't I think, think, he, I think he's, he's, he's out of school. Age. He's like university. uni, like oh, working uni, for yeah. the, yeah, d- working for the, uh, Daily Bugle. Daily Bugle, yeah. Yeah, Bugle. I was going to say Daily Planet and I was like, that's all right. They showed Miles in this as well because they missed it got cut off in the last trailer at E3 yeah. Yeah. looks show. like it's going to be a big part of the story yeah and I'm happy that's cool that's cool does that mean there's going to be a shift because it seems to be um, one of those like the story seems to be about Peter working out if the city still needs Spider-Man and stuff like that yeah because they put the kingpin away because they put the kingpin away and that seems like it could be a cool transition for them to do this game but then to transition to Miles mm. in like coming games and stuff Maybe. that could be really interesting also the shockers in it yep. shocker shocker for like a split second I was yep. like that's cool also Osborne is running for mayor Osborne yep. was running for mayor mm. it looked like was, yeah, it didn't look like away. um looked like his dad though right so he yeah. looked older probably Harry uh Norman. Norman. Norman, Norman, yeah. So Green Goblin showing up at the end, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then it's like, is there too many villains in this game? Yeah, I don't. I but Spider Man's always been like that. Yeah, there's always Spider Man's full villains. Always Spider Man. It just depends how you handle it, though. I suppose. Yeah, as long as it's done well. The only the other thing that I thought was interesting, but I don't know if it was just the camera, how the camera was angled. There was a shot that looked like the player was playing as Mary Jane at one yeah. point. But really? Yeah, yeah was she that. was like in like a train station or something like Grand yeah, Central like a Station. Third person, sort of. Mm. She was like third person behind Mary Jane. So mm. I was like, don't know if this is a camera angle or you play as Mary Jane. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's a weird cool. cinematic angle. Yeah, I'll be down. I'm more into, yeah. The part that was interesting to me was all the yeah all the Peter stuff. So I'll, I'll play. I'm as Mary interested. Jane. Was it just me or did he look like the Andrew Garfield version? Yeah, he, did. Yeah. he looked. The thing for me. 
like I think it's just how I perceive um, Spider Man, but I always see Spider Man as like this kind of lanky, skinny kid when he's Peter Parker, but then he was more I don't know filled out as a Peter Parker, which I took me a second to get used to. It's probably me being really big. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Tell him to wear looser clothes. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> Stop being Jeez. so cool. Stop yeah. being a cool guy, Peter. But I didn't uh, like. I didn't like Art May. I didn't like. Her was, was that Art May? Yeah, yeah, I presume so. Oh, they okay. got the like the proper old lady one. Yeah. Well, no. it wasn't even like the proper old lady one. It was like no, it was like it was like in between yeah, the between. Marvel Universe one and the normal one. Yeah. There's like the like hot a, Art May and the <laughs> old lady. Art old ladies can still be hot. Like D- temperature oh God, wise. Dylan. Yeah. What? Oh God. What? Huh? That's true. Helen, Helen Mirren. I was about to say, yeah, Helen Mirren's a good example. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Spider Man, great, cool. Uh, they showed a uh, new gameplay trailer for Detroit Become Human, which at this stage, I'm just like, I swear I've seen so much of this fucking game, but it still looks amazing. But it did say but spring. This is new. It did say spring. Yeah. So that could be. Even that, that's our even autumn. Even though that, that's our <laughs> so that's like Q two. But yeah. even though wasn't God of War supposed to be March? Yeah. yeah. So is that gonna? So is it maybe April or May? April. Give it or a, May? It's a two month. That's a that's awesome. That, but I think the thing that always intrigues me about isn't the whole trailer. It's the last twenty seconds of these trailers where. They pull out Where and it's it pull the, out And it breaks off choices. Into all the choices And stuff And how they all fit in mm-hmm. And I'm like The same I hope I hate I really hope it fulfills it And I never got to play it at PAX But Bit up the know, Slash explosion yeah, like we, we do have a video on it Jono had a look at it Jono had a look He's High praise High praise It's just High praise <laughs> Games like this where it's like every choice matters. Yeah. And then You're like, does it really? Nine times out of ten in games it doesn't. It's like, you know. Yeah. You still get the same three. This is a very dark yeah. like so yeah. the other ones we've seen is I mean, not saying that. This is like the, the only ones. Oh no, I guess the uh, Marcus one, the had, well, that had some choices in it as well. But yeah, the so you got the The cop this, guy. The, this is definitely the most darkest. You got the you got the like freedom fighter one. It's fine. Marcus, it's yeah, like whatever. Yeah. You got the the one talking down the person that was the, the hostage. Connor. That's dark, sure. Yeah. But this was darker than that. This oh, was yeah. like this was like freaking dark. This freaking is yeah. This is like a someone, domestic violence kind of. Yeah. This thing. is domestic violence when the per, the robot or whatever you what, AI that you're playing you're playing as Kara, like, who was the original Cara, demo. The original, yeah. yeah. And it's um, I don't know. I, I was trying to work out if she has like freedom, like so. She must have freedom because there's still a lot of shots where the the guy will go up and he'll start yelling at the um at the robot the, at the android g- the girl yeah oh, the little girl the little girl and but like Kara would kind of just be standing there like uh, I'm like can she do stuff like or can she not and you're gonna like break free well there's clearly then... there's clearly some kind of interesting um story to Kara because they talked about how Kara had been reset. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So maybe something. Because she goes happened. into the little girl and she's like, "Little girl's really scared of her." And then Kara's like, "We used to be friends when we're like, yeah before, before I, I got reset. Before I got yeah. reset." So we're all going to try and kill that dad, right? Yeah. Oh, Who really? wouldn't? I'm, I'm. I don't think just. I think. I don't think killing somebody's justice, though. No, but it's a video. Game. <laughs> no, but I'm a moral. I'm a moral player. I play by my morals, you know. So when you're playing a uh, Grand Theft Auto or. You stop it all the red lights you just <laughs> It's not that kind of like that's a, bit, <laughs> that's a bit different. These games are heavily choice based in kind of yeah. how you want your characters to be. So yeah. I generally pick in games, I'll generally pick the moral high ground. I tell you what, really? if, I, if I catch this mm. guy just like beating up the If he gets girl, to the point where he's gonna, already uh, beating no up, but if, I can, like dead. if I can prevent the beating, then I will prevent the beating first. But if he's already mid beating, I'm like, you dead. Yeah. Gun. Prepare to die, father. <laughs> 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 so I'm gonna say. There's also. Did you see when it zoomed out? It said like Kara died as well in one of yeah, them. Yeah, Kara died like, in one the of fuck? them. They both escaped, but they were wounded. Yeah. there was there was a lot of. Um, what did I say at PAX? What happens if all three main characters die? Yeah, yeah. Like, I wonder how the... fast you can get to the credits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we will we will actually we'll do that. We'll do a test run. Yeah. Uh, on on twitch.tv slash but when it comes out we're gonna characters. see how quickly we can kill the characters yeah. without getting like a game over screen. Yeah. Like how to kill the characters and get the credits. Yeah. We'll yeah. do that run. That'll be fun. Thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, Detroit looks really great. I prefer like this this has me more interested than the Marcus stuff. Like the like that's cool and all, and I'm sure that ties into the, probably the the bigger like his stuff ties into the bigger overarching story. This is probably I think. like the, the the spark that kind of triggers off the rest of these yeah, yeah, kind yeah, yeah, of yeah. events. Like his but, his works then affect how Kara yeah. is. I'm more like interested that. in these like smaller like this is a smaller self contained kind story. of story, yeah. which is if there was a bunch of smaller ones like this, then a big overarching like Marcus thing, I'd be more interested in that. I yeah. think actually. Yeah. And just like have not Mark have Marcus not playable, but like have the same, like the, him still a character, but you just don't play yeah. as him and reunite mm. other people. Yeah. Uh, they showed God of War. That's still coming. They showed some I new gameplay. That, I thought that was terrible. I did not. It looked enjoy fine. It wasn't it. as good as yeah. the other game. I didn't. Like, but that's the thing. like for me, it didn't show me anything new. I was no. like. It's just like, here it is, it's still here. People got excited. I mean, I'm not super excited for that game anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm fine, like I'm intrigued, but I'm not a big God of War fan. I'm, I'm less excited now than I was at E3. The I'm, E3 trailer I was pretty pumped for. I was, I'm less excited now. I so was I'm like leaning down, like my, I was deflating on my excitement after E3, I suppose. Okay. But then I was listening to, they put out a, uh, like a podcast uh, where they talk about the lore in the game and then they had like an interview of the dev talking about all this stuff I talked about it on the podcast of some sort like the how they've created the whole language for it and all this sort of shit and I was like that got me more excited yeah. for it but then I see the gameplay I'm like eh, whatever yeah, but, it feels like they pulled just any middle part of the game out and showed that yeah it's, it's just, just like it's something that would excite people yeah I, so. I mean I'm more interested in the world and the lore and all that sort of stuff and mm. like the character relations then like this is just like a sizzle reel of like him hitting people hard and stuff, and which get, yeah. may excite like original God of War fans because yeah. it's like it seems like that kind of trailer like I think, like hitting people. I'm like I don't, I mean, whatever. I think the thing that annoys <laughs> me is I really hope that because the one fight scene the kid was super annoying in. It <laughs> might have just been me being tired, but it felt like he was always like up behind you, left, right, left, up, but, and you're like stop. I can see. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't affect me. Yeah, it didn't affect me either. I think he was just tired. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly. I guess 20 hours in if he's 20 hours. Out. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. after that, if that is that, like that for the entire game. Right? Yeah. Well, find out when March. 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 2018. Did it have a date? Is it like God of War? No, no. I, de- I reckon I'll put a date on it. Like, like, I think it just until like January. <laughs> they could put it down into like an upcoming event that might be happening. Yeah. Some kind well, of experience. Well, maybe PSX or something, but yeah, I'm like, I'm kind of sick of trailers, trailers for stuff. Show me Bloodborne. Uh, they showed a trailer for Horizon The Frozen Wilds. Cool. It's more Horizon. I didn't see anything like super. It comes out super... like a week. I don't really. Yeah. It, it comes out like. Soon. A week. Yeah. Same day as the new Xbox. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I want to play it, but I, I, there's nothing in it that super excites me. I like Horizon. It's not it's not one of my top games here, but I'm sh- I'm pretty sure we all like Horizon enough. I want more Aloy, but I'm like, <clears throat> like do I like samey samey gameplay? Like I suppose it depends on what the story is. It's in the snow. Yeah, no, it's not enough. Like if it's like a throwaway story with throwaway characters and stuff that isn't going to affect like the proper sequel and stuff like that. I'm like, do I even really care? Like, yeah, not, not enough. There's lots of stuff. We don't know enough. We don't know enough. And they didn't, this wasn't a story trailer. They just like showed a bunch of shooting stuff and whatever else. It's like, I know what the gameplay's like. Yeah. I know what it looks like. They show me it's frozen. Whatever. Um, showed a shadow of Colossus trailer. Looked really fucking awesome. Super pretty. Super pretty it's definitely going to be coming out next yeah, year yeah i think because they leaked it apparently how's that what was the story with that so they put up the tr- they europe put up a date uh, playstation europe put up like february is a date for yeah it. and then they deleted it did they oh uh, i don't know if it's been deleted but yeah it was like february 6th or 7th that yeah out. that's jack, really soon that's one jack cruz awesome. owes me a dinner if it comes out in february or any time in 2018. Yeah, he's, yeah. And if, if it's set for February, they're going to delay it a month or two and I'm still fucking getting dinner. Sucker. <laughs> I can't wait for this. I, I mean, he should amazing. just cut his losses and buy a dinner this week. Take you out. 
That's true. Look, don't yeah. let him no, don't let him use it because he's already getting us dinner. He's already cooking us dinner Friday night. Oh yeah, so he has no, a separate dinner. No, we're not make no. sure it's a separate <laughs> dinner. Separate, not, no, because I think part of the deal was he had to come to Tasmania, which would be oh, pretty yeah. terrible. Yeah. Get on a boat, buy your <laughs> get boat on that ticket. spirit of Tasmania. He can do spirit. his spirit quest to <laughs> be a true Tasmanian or the spirit of Tasmania. <laughs> oh goodness. Ah, uh, so. <laughs> No, I reckon I'm really I'm as someone who never played Shadow of the Colossus mm. um, because uh, I got it like I was excited when they put out that PS3 collection. I, I wanted to play it, but I just never got around to it. But it's just like something that you hear everyone talk about, and I always talk about, it, and I'm, I'm pretty sh- I know the whole story. I've seen like I've watched mm. YouTube videos, so it's one of those things where I'm like, even though I haven't played it, like you, you kind of know enough if you've watched yeah. enough and stuff like that. But looking at this, it just because of like how different it looks, it, it doesn't even look the same to me. Like you can tell it's Shadow of Colossus eventually, but the graphic up holds such a, a big sweep. This is a proper remake. This isn't a remaster or something like this. This is a proper remake. It looks fucking amazing as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And then the last thing they ended the show on, the big old Last of Us 2. They showed a... Uh, there wasn't a trailer, so it's it's a it's cinematic, a cinematic yeah. from the, the like it's a cinematic taking taken directly out of the game, like out of context, which is why it's a really weird thing to to show. I I, I guess it's it's interesting to show this, but they showed like there's a Neil Druckmann interview that they put in an after show where he's he's like because um, you don't see Joel or any Ellie in this. It's a bunch no. of new characters that we don't know. We know a bunch of their names apart from the main girl who's being played by um laura bailey laura bailey we don't know her name everyone's screaming on twitter that it's ellie it's going to be ellie's mum or something like this and i'm like i don't know how i feel about that but Druckmann said that they're like the game's still joel and ellie like mainly but they want to like have these side characters that i don't know like you switch i don't know if you'll play as them or like it it'll just i think know. it'd be an interesting like um to not get directly into the Joel and Ellie stuff and stuff to start right with these characters and then have them see how they run into. And then, have you? How'd you go with your six hours of Kingdom Hearts two before you play Sora? As always, the character. <laughs> 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 uh, this is the Roxas. Uh, have you finished that yet? <laughs> no, I haven't gone back to stream yet. I want to do it on stream. Um, the Roxas. The Roxas part is over, but. Um, uh, what we, um, That's a bit different it's though. It's pretty gory as well. I was I mean, about to say, what pretty... did we actually think of this cinematic? Because the other thing um, I was looking on Twitter this morning, some people were like upset. Like, about the hammer bit? About that, the, like uh... people, all, all in all, people were like, well, they they drag the Laura Bailey character in, like string up, like they're going to hang her on the noose. Then she's like saying something about like she had a baby or something, like points a knife, knife at her gut, like she's going to cut that out. Then this other woman comes in, like, and then the woman who's like torturing him is like, clip her wings and then puts her on the ground like hammers the fuck out of her arms and yeah it was a bit like oh that's one of you's was like Ugh. it was a bit like, for, me, was for yeah. me for, <laughs> yeah. for yeah. me I would have been prepared to see it if I was playing the game yeah. but it was a bit confronting in the middle of a press conference yes <laughs> like I was like oh shit I didn't I was not expecting it wasn't I'm not against it like I think it's well last of us is a horror game it's a horror game like these kind of things happen so you know, what of it? But at the same time, I was like, okay, all right, you guys are really trying to shock and awe in this press conference. Yeah. Well, was, everyone was getting angry, but I was like, was not like it's not like a trailer they made to shock and awe. I they th- picked a cinematic to shock and awe, but... But the thing for know. me is that there was a lot of people I see like saying, oh, it's violence against women, blah, blah, blah. I'm like... Yeah, it's, it's the end of the world. That's It's shit the happens. end of the world. Like, it wasn't... It was... Yeah, it's... I'm sure they'd just as easily do that to a male character. Yeah. Mm. Shit happened to Joel and crap in Last of Us. So there's not even stuff like if you look at it, I was really intrigued by the whole pregnancy stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, Because then now that I hadn't read anything about the theory that it was Ellie's Ellie's mum, that's interesting. So maybe it's like prequel stuff. Well, they do like, if you look at, um, if you look at, um, Uncharted 4 they've got a thing for family at the moment because even like because even with it because they were talking about like the even the the lady that got her arm broken and her 
whatever the little boy. he look he was a teenager or a boy there's a teenage kid that runs in like shoots bow and arrows and saves them basically yeah and shoots bow and arrows because they were like she's one of them so yeah. well I presume they were fireflies that's what the clip her wings thing maybe was because she's like clip her wings if she's a firefly that would make sense i guess like clip the uh, yeah the yeah that wings. makes sense mm. unless it's um, that's my, my reading maybe, into the lines. maybe like the the lady the laura bailey character is from the community that joel and ellie were a part of that maybe, maybe. well we know the fireflies story. are going to be involved still because the original trailer Had has their the logo emblem and stuff and like that so um, i mean it makes sense if it, it actually is is her mum. yeah unless there's, because that explains why she'd be so dead set at the first trailer that we saw yeah even like the uh, even like the understanding part could be that there are more people like Ellie that are immune to the. I don't know. I don't want that. You don't. Want it kind of takes away from the whole first game, really, especially Joel's choice at the end of it. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Kind of just wanted to be kept as Ellie. Mm. We'll see. I still like the theory that Joel's dead. Uh, I super like that theory. Nah. Well, they they already said it's about him. No, well, I mean, he could be because they just keep saying this, the game's about their relationship. Which I mean, even if he's dead, it could still be about his relationship. Like I guess, she but, could still be yeah. like seeing him, uh, yeah, and stuff like I that. I guess. Yeah, mm. that could be. Interesting. She plays Ellie the whole time. Yeah. I don't know. I could do maybe. I could, I could be. Down I think if they want to do that, I'd rather them just have Joel die like a quarter way in, like like three hours in or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't want him dead from the start. Like I'd rather. I'd rather. Have the emotional journey happen. Would it would it be okay in so the if, game. This, if this theory is? It's a wild theory that she's seeing him like he's not actually yeah. there. Would it be interesting if there's like a a point in the game where it shifts from real Joel to fake Joel, like mm, where you I don't, don't realize that, that he died? Oh, uh, like, that's too. I oh know that's very complicated yeah, to pull off. I think, well, yeah, I think I think we could do it. They probably could, but I mean, I just I. <laughs> It's like adding too many things. It's like yeah. just keep the game focused. To me, I'm like just fo- keep it focused on their their relationship, especially. I mean, I'm happy to keep Joel alive. I'm I'm fine with him dying halfway in or whatever like that. But I just want to see. I need to see him alive to see more of him. Maybe dealing with the the devil that like he knows the secret, and then maybe dealing with her knowing that. Like she knows. As far as I'm concerned, she knows that he lied to her at the end of the first game. Like when he looks at her, she doesn't look like she trusts him. So you need to play it again. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'm going to play through it again. I'll, I'll rush through it again before the the second one happens. But yeah, that last scene where he's like, "Yeah, that's, that's fine." Like, yeah. That's the, but yeah, I think it's, so. I, I'm I'm interested to see their relationship. That's the only thing I hate about the theory of the of of um him being dead is I just I, I don't want him to be dead from the start because I don't feel like that's with, I've got to that point yet but if you want to kill him in three four hours after I've got to experience some more emotional dilemma between yeah. the, the two of them stuff like that sure kill him off if you, if you really need to and have the whole game switch to Ellie so if you want to kill him off but I need the death to be warranted not just for not off screen sh- yeah off screen or just for shits and giggles or something like that especially if, especially if you're going to kill him off to have him just become a ghost haunting her mind for something I'm like yeah. it's just very complicated it seems needs to be paid off so where do you think this game is where is it at in I development know. I don't know it's like it's what they showed the first <laughs> trailer at PSX last year so it's been like 10 months of Almost a year. Uh, Almost a year. Well, Almost a year. yeah, so they showed it like a year ago. At the time, half of... Well, I don't actually know if it's half, but let's just say like half of Naughty Dog was still working on Lost Legacy. And now, once Lost Legacy shipped, all of Naughty Dog is now working on this. Yeah. So... 2019. I would say Ooh. next. Yeah. 2019. I, I, I could say... I could say... I. I wouldn't put it past late, like late end of next year. I'd say 2019, just oh, because man. next year's big as it is. It's, it's yeah, next, next year's, year's packed as it yeah, is. I'm only saying this because I believe the PS5 is 1920. Like that's that's something but I'm last believing. Last of Us Two was end of PS3's generation. Yeah, yeah so. so I there's my two things. To this Eva, it could come out end of next year, especially if Sony's like, look, guys, we're putting out P- PS. 5, 19 or 20 or this is a uh, pulling a fast one where Last of Us 2 is actually a PS5 game at which point it comes out in like 2019 with the PS5 I think two, I think 2019 
I think it releases. I think it releases. Say March two thousand and nineteen, March or May. It releases on the PlayStation Four. Yeah, at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's that far off. I don't think it's like one, two years. I'm interested to see what Sony does with their. And it's probably a conversation over another time, and maybe an Xbox fanboy mm. I might be just leaning to, to one side. I, I'd be interested to see what Sony does with the whole, you know, Xbox is taking a very, you can play everything on our new consoles. Like, you can, we're going to try and keep that library going forward. So, is it going to be like, yeah, what are they going to do with the PS5? Uh, That's a, I don't know. I think they're hoping that the PS4 Pro and the Xbox Scorpio are going to extend this generation's life cycle so I don't know if it's going to be 1920 the PS5 I th- yeah I don't know it's one of those things that I've, I've I don't think I don't think the pro extends it to be perfectly honest because I don't feel like as a this is going to sound so mm-hmm. incorrect coming from me I think the PS4 the, the pro kind of seems half assed yeah it seems a bit half assed for what it is so um, I think that's going to happen for every console generation yeah. now there's going to be a PS5 PS5 Pro or something like yeah. similar to that yeah. just to because ex- of how fast the technology moves uh, especially if especially if we're going to live in a world where VR technology is constantly getting updated as well and it's like well yeah, now yeah. we need to upgrade the console to keep up with the, mm. the VR technology yeah, moving up enough. and blah, blah 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 so I'm just like you're just going to have these these things I remember I remember Sage but like this might be the last console I'm like Phew. fucking no. no. Um, so overall, what do we think of the, um, the Paris, the Paris pretty good. conference? Though? I mean, a couple of weeks ago, we weren't expecting much out of this and to get everything that we got. Sucker Punch, crazy. Last of Us. Sp- Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Everything else. Uh, there was other cool stuff, games. but it's yeah. like they're, they're the three the big, games, main, yeah. big games, I suppose. A new Detroit trailer. New so. Detroit was great. Yeah, I think the press conference was, uh, apart from like, the like Far Cry trailer I think yeah. everything else like I was like paying attention to like I'm interested I think that was the one point where I picked up my phone and went on Twitter and, like just doodled for that that trailer the the other doodling parts I did were all in the pre-show which I'm trying to like separate from the actual yeah. um, proper media showcase I guess but even counting the pre-show it mixed in with all of it most of it was really cool there's a lot of cool yeah. announcements and stuff like that updates some of the pre-show stuff was kind of boring like the sims and what of the fuck else but yeah the media showcase I enjoyed most of it Sucker yeah. Punch's game looks fucking amazing Last of Us 2 yeah I know just Sucker Punch and Last of Us 2 I'm like cool um, the whole thing about no dates I, yeah. I, I kind of lean on the side of we complain when they announce a date and then they don't make it and Sony is really just kind of sticking to their unless we're 100% sure we're, We're not, not fucking a saying yeah. a date. So we, you just got to decide like, what do you want them to do? So if you don't want them to give dates, you want them to not show anything. Cause we, years ago, they would have been probably showing some of this stuff and saying like March, blah, 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 or whatever. And then it all would have got pushed, pushed, pushed. And then everyone would have been like, why are they delay all these games? But now they're just showing the same stuff and just being like next year, next year, next year. And everyone's like, where's the date? You'll get the date when they're sure. Mm. I think. Um, yeah. I guess for me, I think I almost overhype myself for these things, and I need to stop doing it. I wish they hadn't. I wish they hadn't announced. You know how they said beforehand, we're going to do this. We're going to announce like twenty-one game updates mm. and seven new game announcements. And I think I kind of wish I didn't know that. <laughs> I wish I just watched it. Um, and now looking, I felt kind of flat after it, but that was probably a combination of being tired. <laughs> when we first watched it now that we've gone through it and been a bit more critical of it it was really good yeah, it I was think really it was, good it was so. really good there was a lot of great stuff there my I think I prefer what Sony's doing now of these the spreading out of stuff like E3 the E3 conference to me I enjoyed it it wasn't like oh my god amazing. it was just like that was really good this I was like that was really good I hope um if there was going to do like an OMG one, I'd rather them just do it at PSX and then throughout the year spread out these ones like, that's really good. That was really good. That was really good. And then PSX, go crazy there if you need to. But even then, if they don't go crazy at PSX and they're just like, that was another good one. If, if every like three months there's a PlayStation conference of like, cool. Well, the next one's going to cool. be in six weeks maybe. Yeah. So I was going to say, that's what, cool. what's, that's what, cool. is, what are they going to do at PSX? I think I have no idea. We'll, we'll have to do a... Um, We'll do prediction. a prediction for that yeah. one, I reckon. But 
I yeah, I don't know. It's it is a it is a weird thing to talk about when it's like they showed Last of Us here, so they're probably not going to show Last of Us there because that would be silly. I think. I think it's probably sucker punch gameplay. Sucker punch gameplay would make sense because it's like announce it here, get people talking. Because it was it, real, dirty, even dirty. like looking back at it, it was pretty short that teaser trailer. It, yeah, was, it was. It felt like a teaser. Like it didn't feel like yeah. it was. Yeah, 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 it was like a mood piece, really. Yeah. It didn't give you much story. It was just like, yeah. this is the kind of so vibe. And maybe stuff they come out and be like, hey, this is yeah. more on the game. Gameplay for that makes sense. But then, yeah, I, 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 usually piece this is way more um, PlayStation fanboy. Well, not, I mean, just like fan base yeah. centric anyway. So they can do some weirder announcements and stuff. Do there. you reckon they use this to get... They use this to get rid of a lot of stuff for PSX. Like they had all this stuff... And now they've freed up the PSX to actually maybe announce brand new things. Like because I don't Blood imagine them announcing more VR games at yeah. PSX. I, well, oh, yeah, well, I'm happy. If, that's another good thing about the VR is if every if every conference instead of just do it, spending one of these conferences just being like we're going to focus on VR and just like announcing all like a of VR games. If every conference they're constantly like. Here's four or five VR announcements. Here's four or five mm. VR. It helps with VR too because it's like constantly like mm. keeps it in people's minds. Yeah, it keeps it in people's minds. Instead of just being, oh, there was no VR mentioned in that conference, and they're like, yeah, because we announced all our games like three months ago. So we got nothing else, guys. No. <laughs> it's very good. There's one game that was definitely not mentioned again. What dreams? How is oh, yeah. how is that not still? When's the last time we saw dreams? That'd be a piece. It's thing. it's been canned. There's no way it's coming out. If it's been canned, then I'd expect an announcement of um, Media Molecule like nearly going under. I don't think yeah. I don't see it coming out. How long has it been in development for now? I think that's since PS Five, PS Four came yeah, out. Yeah, if they, I, I can I see them showing up at PSX and being like, "It's a VR game now." Yeah, because it makes more sense in VR as well. Actually, sculpting them clay monsters or whatever <laughs> the fuck that game is. Clay <laughs> peoples. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. Plus, uh, this is my just, just <laughs> my dream scenario for that game because I thought about it. <laughs> before my dream scenario is it can tick off lots of things for me they're like dreams they come out the VR and they're using new motion controllers for it Ooh, what if they announce that at PSX yeah that's that'd be that'd be my thing but that would be a really cool way to do it I've thought about it before it's like the sculpting but we're using new move controllers I don't think I think like, if they were going to announce new PS VR controllers I think they would have done like I think it would have been better for them to do it at Paris Games Week than to do it at their own event. Not if they know they know. can't get them out anyway. Like, yeah, it just depends on when they're actually going to have them released. Yeah. yeah they well, announce them too my early. Only, my no only one, thing is... Everyone stops buying PSVR because they're like, that's coming out soon. So it's like... And at PSX, they'll have the hardcore fans there to actually test it out. Yeah. Yeah, but even then, like announcing it and saying... Like announcing it this week, because I think the, my biggest thing, I think it's good for them for doing all this VR at Paris Games Week is to say... Hey, look! This is what we're doing with our PSVR. Like, let's we're we're really supporting this VR unit because one of the things is probably one of the the most like the poorest parts that v- PSVR gets slack for is those terrible move controllers. Yep. And the Paris Games Week is a more public event than PSX to go. Like, there probably isn't just Sony fanboys there. That'd be yeah. So you would to come out there and be like, hey, look. New new move controllers that yeah, I guess yeah my my thing is the whole like if they're like these are out in three months and people are like I was going to buy a move but I'll just wait three months now they've lost sales yeah so even though you got the nice people at Sony that like don't think about it's like the marketing team that's yeah. like nut nah, you can't talk about that yet or like stuff like yeah. that um anyway yeah no I think that was that was really good we had uh <laughs> if. Those of us who watched the whole thing, some of us slept through parts. It's fine. We had, we had a great time here in Shepparton watching the... <laughs> <laughs> live from Shepparton, the Paris Games Week's media conference. Because <laughs> Shepparton is where you want to be covering Paris yeah. Games Week. Hopefully this oh, podcast yeah. sounds all right. It's the first time we've uh, tried to set up <laughs> a, a recording set up in Karen's new humble abode and or even tried to record uh, in, in person with her own setup. The only time we've ever, ever, ever recorded in person with more than one uh, together was in an audio technical booth which set up nicely for us with a whole mixing booth and now we're just like, can't we just we can do some it mics together? And it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so hopefully this uh, has come out well. Or, or at all. Or at least listenable. <laughs> Or you've just you've just listened to Dylan talk to himself for the last hour and twenty minutes, like. Well, sure. 
<laughs> I'm sure some of us, some of our hands would be into that. Yeah. Where can the people follow you, Ash? You can follow me on Twitter at Ashley Hobley, A S H L E Y, H O B L E Y, River in Shepparton. Drop by, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Kieran's address house. is <laughs> <laughs> It took one week For my address to get out Damn Kieran where can the people follow you People can follow me at Your boy Ringo On Twitter Or over at Twitch.tv Slash Explosion Network Where I'll be back to normal streaming times Next week Yeah this week's kind of fun This <laughs> week This week I'm just like Nah Maybe <laughs> Who knows we Might do this well, Might stream maybe. something <laughs> It depends how dead I am After Extra Life I might just be like yeah, fuck it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know it's a problem. It's too much yep. happening right now. You can follow me on Twitter at Vivaladil, V I V A L A D I L. It's currently Dylan at Shepherd as well. <laughs> 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 yeah, don't forget about Extra Life. You'll hear about it in a second. Karen will tell you in a second in an ad read. Um, it's great. I had a great time. Thank you all. Don't forget to follow Explosion Pod at Explosion Pod on Twitter. Rate Twitter. the show. Do all the great things. Uh, get sleep more than some of us it helps you stay sleepy and stuff like that um plat plat to shardia listen here and here if you haven't heard the explosion network will be streaming for 24 hours and participating in extra life on november 4th raising money for the sick kids center for global child health head on over to explosionnetwork.com slash extra life for all the details on how you can help us including donating giving us some ideas for challenges or games you'd like to see us play. October 27th to 29th, apparently Pack Melbourne's happening, and I'm going to be there with Dylan, Ash, and Jono. So feel free to come say hey if you see us on the show floor. Then, there's a disturbance in the force. On October 27th, we'll be launching a Star Wars podcast in the lead-up to Episode 8, The Last Jedi. Of course, our weekly shows will always continue. Pleasure Explosion Mondays, Platinum Explosions on Tuesdays, and Grandstand Gurus Thursdays. All at 12 p.m. Catch our live streams where I like to dwell during the evenings at twitch.tv slash explosion network and keep your targets locked on explosionnetwork.com for all our explosive content. Shout out to This them. was way more coherent than I was expecting. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why did you think it was going to be uh, incoherent? Because we're just tired. Although we did get some sleep. Four hours. So. Rocking. Yeah. And both of you lived. Let me listen to this. For the moment. Sure it's actually listenable now, I suppose.